Whoops, my hair's going everywhere. What's the most interesting, what, oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, that was a little bit too, a little bit too much. Hi, I'm Beck. I'm a Criminology and Criminal Justice Honours student. This is the Director of Criminology and Criminal Justice Program, Lorraine, and we're here to answer some of your questions. Okay. All right, I've got the first question. Oh, all righty. What is it about UQ's approach that makes us the most employable graduates in the state? The Bachelor of Criminology and Criminal Justice at UQ is unique in the world. We had three years of criminal law and four years of professional practice built into our program. Okay, so what's been the most unexpected thing you have been happy to discover at UQ? I think the, the best thing that I've noticed is that the lecturers are so willing to, to help and they are so friendly and so warm and so... Really? <laughs> yes, yes. Um, yeah, they're, they're so they're really friendly and um, willing to help and really approachable. And uh, I just as That's a nice as a, to know, Rebecca. <laughs> as a as a high school student, I didn't kind of expect that. I thought I was, I, it felt a bit intimidating. Um, you know, the thought of an academic, you know, teaching you, but you know, they're really welcoming and um, I think approachable. Pretty down to earth. Yeah, absolutely. If you were employing the next criminology and criminal justice graduate what would you be looking for? So ours is a four-year uh, program. We have an inbuilt honours and it absolutely makes a difference to employers. They want that fourth year. It makes our students completely stand apart to, uh, to those with a three-year degree. What does a day in the life of a criminology and criminal justice student look like at UQ? Well, you might start with a seminar in the morning, a lecture or a tute. Um, you might go to lunch with your friends at places like Darwin's or Wordsmith's. Um, you might take a walk around the beautiful lakes. Um, I know friends that go to the gym, might go to the pool, any of those sorts of things. Fantastic. And how do you get, to, how do you get here? Uh, you can catch the ferry, you can catch the buses, super easy, there's two bus stops. <laughs> um, or you can drive as well. How do you prepare students for the future when we don't know what the future looks like? That's a great question. In, in criminology, crimes are changing all the time, so our students really have to be able to pivot. They have to be flexible. They have to really be able to look at new and growing opportunities for, for where we can prevent and control crime. So we really need that flexibility in thinking um, and then being able to, to really switch and change gears um, to address new problems. Yeah. So what are the most valuable skills you've learned as part of your degree? Learning to critically analyse and writing really well and, and working with industry as well. So what about working with industry? What have you had to do? We've had to know how to write briefs for them to update them on, on what we're doing. At the moment I'm working uh, with the Australian Centre to Counter Child Exploitation and um, I'm, I'm doing research alongside them so um, updating them on how the project's going and, and where my research is heading um, has been really important. What opportunities do students have to get hands-on experience in our industry? So we do two things. So we bring the industry into the classroom. You know how important that is. Um, and then in your fourth year, you actually are embedded into an industry to do your honours thesis and your honours project. And having that experience is just fantastic because you really get to work with the industry. You get to see what it's like to be a worker in the uh, criminal justice industry. Yeah, and you get to make connections too. You get well, to your network connections are so well. important, aren't they? And yeah. getting a referee from your industry partner is absolutely fantastic for when you go on the job market. Yeah, absolutely. How does the way you learn at UQ teach you the skills you need to face an unknown future? I think working with industry and having um, industry members come into our classrooms a lot has been really really helpful um, in knowing how to deal with unknown situations especially in things like online crime um, that's constantly evolving and changing um, you know and knowing how to deal with them and talking to people in the industry has been really really helpful. What are some of the coolest jobs your former students are doing? Well, I think all jobs in criminology are the coolest in the world. I can't imagine anyone not wanting to be a criminologist. 
But we have students that are Intel officers working for the police. We have one of our students working for the Hate Crime Review Board. Uh, we have students that are working as case managers in a range of different industries. So they're really cool jobs. They're, they're working, they're, they're making a difference. They're changing our, uh, our world. And there's a lot of variety there too. There's so many different disciplines you can go into. <laughs> What's the most interesting thing you've learned that has not been part of your coursework? I think uh, learning to think innovatively and, and work on problem solving. Um, those are all really key things that we've learnt kind of on the way um, that weren't necessarily part of our curriculum but um, were something that we had to, had to implement in a lot of the things that we did. Great. What makes a good student and are they the same things that make a good job candidate? Yes, so when we built the program, we went to industry and we said to our industry partners, what do you need? What graduate attributes do you need? And they told us really, really clearly they need good writers. They need people with strong analytic skills. Mm -hmm. So we've built that through the whole program. And so I think that our students have really good, strong analytic skills. They've got excellent writing skills. They know how to write for different audiences like mm -hmm. industry. Uh, and they know how to talk to industry because they're embedded with industry right from day one, semester one at UQ. What have you learned about yourself since you began your studies at UQ? I've learned about my strong leadership skills and my skills in uh, ethics and working with criminal justice agencies, that's really, really important. Okay, last question. If you could give me one piece of advice that would set me apart as a job candidate, what would it be? Well, I do think the confidence is a really important X factor. I always talk about the X factor with our students. Having that fourth year honours, having an embedded industry experience, and really, really showing that you're a confident young professional, that's what's really gonna set you apart. Oh my God, that's hard. <laughs> it is. <laughs> we did well, you did very, very good. <laughs>